let's see what are the key points under the law of diminishing marginal utility first total utility rises when the marginal utility diminishes now if we take a close look at the schedule the total utility is rising when the marginal utility is falling marginal utility is falling total utility is rising again marginal utility is falling total utility is rising total utility is maximum when the marginal utility is zero total utility is maximum when the marginal utility is zero at the fifth unit of consumption our marginal utility is zero and there the total utility is maximum that is 50 after that total utility starts to diminish when marginal utility is negative now the marginal utility is negative and the total utility starts to diminish marginal utility is again negative at the seventh unit total utility will again diminish this relation can be explained with the graph of with the help of graph as well now the marginal utility is diminishing but the total utility is rising total utility is maximum when the marginal utility is zero marginal utility is zero at this point and at this point we can see that the total utility is maximum and i have already told you this point is known as point of satiety and finally when the marginal utility is negative the total utility is diminishing now the marginal utility now the marginal utility is negative it has gone below the x axis and now the tu is falling what are the properties of mu curve first mu curve goes on diminishing throughout the mu curve always has a downward slope that is it goes on diminishing and this property is constant throughout that is the mu goes on falling thus the mu curve always has a downward slope throughout second marginal utility curve is downward sloping this point is almost similar to the first point which states that marginal utility curve is diminishing throughout now since the marginal utility curve is diminishing throughout it gets a downward slope 